Two weeks is actually not a long time for you no, to travel. No, that's yeah, entire. Enough. A small amount of time, yes. Okay. Yeah. We don't sleep a lot, we walk a lot. And we try to eat as much food as possible. So we are experts in 7-Eleven. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, a lot of foreigners said that the Japanese convenience store. Yeah, it's convenient. amazing. Yeah. And the fact that it's open 24-7 Yeah. perfect. We don't have that in Portugal. Yeah. My name is Marta and I, I'm 30 years old and I'm from Portugal. Uh, I live in Lisbon, which is the capital. Hi, my name is Inês. I'm also from 30 years old and I'm from Portugal. And I live near Lisbon. And my name is Carla. I'm also from Portugal. I live in Leiria, near Lisbon too. And I'm 28. Hello, my name is Pedro. I live in Braga. I'm from Portugal. And uh, my age is 26 years old. I've been to Portugal one time in January, but that was warm. Really? And yeah, I see like some flowers. This one. Yes. Oh. I love that city. Very beautiful. Compared to the one you tried before, it should be sweeter. Cheers. Cheers. As we say in Portuguese, chin chin. <laughs> It's softer, it's very soft. What is this fish? It's a mackerel. Ah, this is the mackerel. Okay, okay. But more like uh, marinated with the vinegar. It should be okay. a little bit sour. Okay. It's an octopus mm -hmm. and this is a scallop. Oh, yes. Yeah. Salmon yeah. and tuna. She likes scallop. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go for the mackerel. Because I know she's going to <laughs> you like it? <laughs> it's really, really good. Yeah, that's <laughs> uh, Yeah, Japanese sake is really goes well with the uh, sashimi yes, fish. It goes very good, well, yes. Yeah. Okay, this is my favorite for me. <laughs> I love the octopus. <laughs> I think the food in Portugal also based a lot on uh, fish. Yes, yes, that's true. When I was there, I tried the cod fish, wild fish. That's pretty famous, right? Yes, like a lot of dishes with the fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about the, the food in Portugal. Uh -huh. Because you were in Lisbon, you will get to eat a lot of fish because you are close to the sea. But we are from a small city uh, on the north of the country, and so we have a lot of uh, meat. Usually, people, well, not nowadays, but uh, in like 50 years ago, we used to have the pigs at home. So we would kill the pig and then make everything with that meat. Oh, wow. Yes, all the different pets. That's a lot, a lot of parts. Yes. Yes. How can you eat all of like the parts? Oh. You share with your friends <laughs> yeah, or like, eat everything. <laughs> so for instance the, the, the feet yeah. from the feet, you boil them and you eat them. And the same as the ears and the face uh -huh. and the tongue and the, this part you yes, you make uh, like with a sauce. You eat the, the liver, the lungs, you eat everything. You so only have a lot of ways <laughs> to treat the pig. <laughs> I mean tuna. Yes. But uh, different parts. Just like you say, you break down all the parts of the pig. We break down all the parts of the fish, like tuna. This one is just a, uh, you know, grilled chicken in the different parts. So. Mm. Mm. It's a typical Japanese sauce. It's actually very similar to the Portuguese sauce. <laughs> it's very good. So we eat this part of the chicken in Portugal, ah. but not this one. We make it with sauce. It's very good. This is a uh, tuna chicks, chicks of the tuna. Mm. This is a uh, fatty tuna. This is a uh, medium fatty tuna, and this is like a kind of okay. top of the head. Okay. And no matter yeah. So maybe you can try each one and see like what is the difference. Uh, so the, the fatty tuna for me is the best. <laughs> it's the best one. Okay, I'll try I'll try the cheeks.
it really looks like meat. Yeah. 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 That's very good. Yeah. <laughs> you try this? That's the best. It's amazing. Yeah. So we should be doing this the opposite way. Finish, finish with the best one. When we yeah. started here. <laughs> But actually, a lot of people also like this uh, red tuna. Yeah, it really it. depends on the people how yeah, like how they it. like it. I would still prefer the fatty ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are all very good. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, the the two the most fatty ones. So you're leaving this part. This is the fatty part. <laughs> I saw the fatty part. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your favorite part? My favorite of the food? one is this one, the fatty one. Uh huh, fatty one. Yes, that's really Fatty one, yeah. What kind of food do you usually eat in Portugal? Typical food? Cuttlefish. Cuttlefish. Do you cook a cuttlefish? At least once a week. Oh, okay. A thousand ways to cook cuttlefish. <laughs> That's way. Yes. You can boil it, you can uh, do it in the oven, you can do it uh, with sauce. Uh -huh. You have so many ways to do the cuttlefish. <laughs> to make cuttlefish cakes. Cakes? Oh. Well, not sweet cakes. Okay, okay. Salty cakes. Yes. Fish cakes are clean, but they are. Okay, let me. So how do you call it? Bolino? Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. With rice Patanishkas. Patanishkas. Yeah. What's this? It's really good. Yeah. Yeah. It's called fish as well. Yeah. So you also eat the rice? Yes. Yeah. 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 But it's different from the Japanese. Yeah. 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 It's really like, it's not as sticky. Yeah, it's not ah. a sticky meal. Okay, okay. So, in, in Portuguese meals, you get uh, the meat or the fish, uh -huh. and then on the side, you get uh, either rice or potatoes or pasta. So, for instance, you would eat the patanishkas, yes. and then with rice on the side. Uh, okay. And we make the rice, we boil it with uh, tomato or with beans, oh. and then we eat with the fish. It looks good. And it's really if, good. If I knew it, I would I have tried it, but I didn't try it when I was here. Shishi. 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 Do you know what it means in Japanese? Chin chin. No. No? no. Is it a bad word? <laughs> Can you guess? I don't know. You have one. Oh. But they don't have one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, That's, sure. Where would yeah. you How do you say you're welcome in Japanese? Go itasumashite. It's pretty long. Go itasumashite. Not easy <laughs> for a foreigner to remember. Don't you have a smaller <laughs> Just domo. 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 Yeah. That's fine. But when you are traveling in Japan, did you experience you have some difficulties with communicating with Japanese people because yes. Yes. but how you guys uh, try to communicate with them? like when you express Google huh? Translate, <laughs> Google translate. <laughs> so you had a hard time sometimes yeah. a little bit a little bit yes but nowadays it's quite easy because we have uh, internet all the time yeah we were traveling before last year and the years before around Asia yeah and Southeast Asia. Oh, okay. And a lot of people they don't speak English, uh -huh. but you get to communicate with gestures and pointing. And something that we notice here in Japan is that people are very shy. Uh, yeah. When they don't understand what you're saying in English, they don't. They get very shy, yeah, yeah. and it's very hard to explain what we want. Yeah. <laughs> Japanese people are not like me. I am yeah. <laughs> foreigners on the streets. It's completely different. Yes. And your yeah. English compared to the average, <laughs> it's perfect. Yeah. So is there any reason why young people in Japan don't learn, uh, they don't know a lot of English? Well, actually, 
actually, even if you feel like young Japanese people don't really speak English, yeah. but they are still better than like the old people. Yeah, we, I read something about the year, the, the next year, the tourism here in Japan will yeah. explode. Yeah. Like uh, we have an Olympic in Tokyo yes, next year. Yes, the Olympics, yes. Yeah. So a lot of people need to learn yeah. English. But one thing I was very surprised here is that you get everything explained. So if you go to like the train station, everything is written. Train stations, you don't have it in English. you very good. So we would get lost sometimes, uh -huh. but it's because we didn't read everything. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you're in Portugal, everything is written in Portuguese and you have no English. Portugal is very, it's a very small country, uh -huh. true, but you have a lot. It's two weeks you can say. Two weeks is enough. Yeah, but the, the advantage of traveling to Portugal uh -huh. is that you have like Spain nearby, uh, yeah. and France, <laughs> you get to see everything. Portuguese people is a uh, very relaxed people, uh -huh. but always they, they will always help you. Even if you don't speak English or Portuguese, they will always, always try to gestures and... Yes. That's nice, yeah. Are you guys want to eat something more? Uh, for me, uh, uh, we were eating at 5 o'clock. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we, we yeah, try. Try, try. Mikuzushi. Mikuzushi, right? Who wants to eat uh, sesame dessert sweets? We can share. We okay. can share. Okay. 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 That's it. Hi. So we have a nine hour flight. So I think. Eleven. Eleven hours. Eleven. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Is it a direct flight? No. From no. no? no it's Germany. After Munich? Yeah. Yes. To Portugal. And get back to work? Yes. Once you arrive? <laughs> back to work on Monday. Back to work. Back to yeah. the Rio. Oh my god. <laughs> so what okay, do you guys do? We doctors. Doctors? Yeah. Wow. wow. And I work in a retail company. Retail company? Yeah, we import a lot of stuff from Japan. Not from Japan, from China. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't import from Japan. It's too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we also have a lot of imports from China. Yeah. yeah. It's cheaper. It's cheaper. Yeah. yeah, we go there like twice a year to oh, those yeah? big uh, events. Uh, with a, We choose the equipment uh -huh. that we want, we put our brand in it, and then we import to Portugal. Oh, okay. yeah. You should make a uh, business with here, so that uh, oh, you can come expensive. here for your business. <laughs> <laughs> Company pays your flight and the hotel. <laughs> it's, it's funny because uh, I know a story from my company uh -huh. that a few years ago they had business with Japan. Oh. Every time we import from China, you get like, for instance, I buy uh, 5,000 machines uh -huh. and then I get extra parts, you know, for uh, fixing, yeah, yeah. for warranty, I get extra parts. Uh, when we were doing business with Japan, we asked for the, the parts mm -hmm. and the Japanese people were very confused because they said, but you don't need the parts, you already have the machines. Mm -hmm. You said, no, no, but it's better to have more parts because things can get broken. And the Japanese uh, businessmen were saying, no, it doesn't get broken. <laughs> it works just fine. Uh, okay. So you don't need extra, right? Because everything we import from China is <laughs> a little strange. <laughs> but it's very cheap. Ah, uh, yes. But I think it's getting more expensive in China. Yes. Because of the labor cost. The labor, yes. Whose idea coming to Tokyo, coming to Japan? So you say like an internship, internship here. Yes. So you, you have went? a lot of gastric cancer here in Japan. Got Got gastric cancer. And I wanted to see the surgery. So I stayed for two weeks in a hospital just watching surgery. And then they came to, to Oh, yeah. Yeah. Especially the technology you have here, like the costs. Like in Portugal, we cannot use all the technology you use. It's really impressive. So you do also operations? No, no. just like that. Just, just. Yeah. <laughs> the surgeon and I'm a general board. Use the, the sauce? Yeah, wasabi on top, so be careful. 
いつかいつかいいいつかいつかいつかいつかいつかいつかいつかいつかいつはい。